going to have to talk kind of fast. This is a long one. We have a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. They give us two coordinates. We're supposed to find the third coordinate. Let's get some working room here. Cross from the smallest side has to be the smallest angle. Therefore, this angle has to be 60 degrees. And the rule is that if the smallest side is in, then the hypotenuse is 2 in, and the third leg is n times square root of 3. Let's go ahead and figure out what the lengths of these sides are by using the distance formula. So we're going to find out how long this xz leg is by using this. So negative 3 minus positive 3, that's our first part. Negative 1 minus negative 1 is our second part. Do a little bit of math, a little bit more math. So we get the hypotenuse of the big triangle is 6. Therefore, because it's a 30, 60, 90 triangle, we know what the smallest side is over here. It's half of that. That's going to be 3. And we know that last leg is going to be 3 times the square root of 3. But that doesn't help us. We need to add some lines now. First line, WZ is going to be perpendicular to the base of the triangle, XZ. We can put it on a right triangle mark there. We need to add a second line. This is going to be YW, and it's perpendicular to the first one we put in there. So we'll put another right triangle in there. Now, this angle right here, YZW has to be 30 degrees because it's a 90 degree angle and we know part of it is 60 therefore the other chunk has to be 30 and if this little chunk is 30 that means this this up here this angle has to be 60 so we created another 30 60 90 degree triangle so what are we going to do with that that's a good question but on this new triangle we know what the hypotenuse is it's 3 Therefore, this line up here, the shortest one, has to be half of that. And then this last leg has to be the short times the square root of 3. So these are the sides of this triangle. So the coordinates of y are going to be, from this 3 point negative 1, we're going to go, we're going to go negative 1.5 to the left. That's going to be our new x-coordinate, right? We're going to subtract 1.5. And in our y-coordinate, we're going to have to subtract, we're going to have to add to negative 1, this 1 1.5 times the square root of 3. So that is the answer, but there's a, we're going to have to double check that using our distance formulas, okay? So there's the distance formula again. So we're taking this point, 1.5, we're going to subtract 3, and we're taking this y mass here, and we're going to subtract it from negative 1. That should equal 3 if we have the right values. Let's go ahead and plug and chug. So this becomes negative 1.5 squared. The 1's cancel out very nicely. We're going to square everything. This comes out to be 2.25 times 3. And it looks like, yes, we have confirmation. The distance between this point and that point is 3, and then we already knew that, so we have confirmation. Let us try the next one. We're going to check the length of this point down to this point. So 1.5 minus a negative 3, and in this mess, minus a negative 1. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of calculating. See what drops out here. Do, 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 do. You can notice the 1's are going to drop out again. So we square everything and go ahead and multiply it out. And we get square root of 27, which is very nicely 9 times the square root of 3, which comes out to be 3 times the square root of 3, which we know is the right answer. And so we do have confirmation. So therefore, that is the answer. The coordinates of y are 1.5 comma negative 1 plus 1.5 times the square root of 3. That was a long one. That was a tough one. MGZ out.